Hey guys, this is Sean from Seanatha.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to sync all of your files and data from your computer to your smartphone or your Android smartphone or your iPhone. So many people can say that it's uh, very much similar to the cloud storage but what exactly happened in the cloud storage that uh, you are having some content then you upload it to cloud storage and when you need the access to it you download it again so there are two processes: uploading the data and downloading it it consumes bandwidth it takes time and uh, cloud storage is limited uh, most of the services like Dropbox, Box.net, Google Drive they give you a limited space and usually we are having lots of data on our smartphone and our computer so it is not possible to move all of your content, all of your data, what, whatever you are having on your uh, computer to move to cloud storage. So in that situation we are having one very useful application, it's called Unity and uh, using that you can sync all of your data and like uh, of multiple computers. When I'm saying all of your data that means multiple computers. For example, this is my private laptop then I'm having a PC and laptop for my office work and a uh, few more laptops at my home of my uh, family members. So what I can do, I can use this application to get the access of the files and data on all of these computers at one place on my smartphone. So how it works that first of all you need to download the application on your computer uh, to all of those computers where you want to uh, sync the data to your smartphone so for example this is my laptop you have to go to getunity.com and then download the application on your PC install the application run it create an account and the game is over now what you have to do you have to get your Android smartphone or iOS device iPhone or iPad and then download and install the unity application over there and uh, once the application is installed you have to go there and uh, just log in using the same account uh, what we have created on your desktop and uh, it will take around four to five minutes between syncing all of the data from your computer to your account and when you just access that account on your application you will get all of the content so what exactly it does let me tell you that it just create a metadata meta files information from your computer to your account and it does not upload any of the data so for example if I'm having like uh, 500 GB of files on my P uh, this laptop on my PC so it will just make a metadata file and it will upload to the my unity account and then I can get access to all of those files and then I can download all of them individually. For example, here is my Unity account. If I'm going to the settings, you can see that uh, this is my Android smartphone in Phoenix. Here is my Office PC and this one is my laptop. And all of these three devices are interconnected. So if I go to the music section, just tap on it, and then I go to songs, then here you can see that all of the songs is appearing here with the file information you can see here like I don't know how many songs I'm a music lover so you can see like I'm having thousands of songs on my office PC as well and on my laptop I, but all of these songs they are not uploaded anywhere not on the unity not on my uh, this uh, Android smartphone so if I want to download for example I want to download this song or just stream it I need to just tap on it and it will start streaming so right now it's not downloaded it's just being streamed over the internet and if you want to download then you can download this song as well so it totally up to you that what you want to do and it uh, save your space obviously very much so this is a good thing and this is the difference between unity and cloud on cloud you need to decide what exactly you want to uh, put on cloud storage but you don't have to do that thing here on unity because every single file on your computer is synced and 
you can download from anywhere. So you don't have to fill your uh, phone with unnecessary file. You can just uh, use the Unity and move and get access to all of your laptop content, PC content to your smartphone. And if you want to just have a look on the file, you can have a look. If you want to download it, you can download it. So you can save memory, you can save time, you can save your bandwidth as well. And it uh, automatically categorized all of these file type like video, photos. If I go to the photos, you can see where are my photos. It's not synced yet. Here is desktop if I'm going. Okay, so here is all of my photos you can see. And for example, if I want to just download any picture, for example, this, so it will start downloading. You can see it just downloaded the pic. So, so far it was just on my PC, but now it came to my Android smartphone as well. But one drawback of this function is that it just sync the data of your PC to your Android or iPhone device. It does not work vice versa. For example, whatever content I'm having on my uh, Android smartphone on which I'm using Unity, it's not going to be synced with my account and I cannot access the data of my Android smartphone or iPhone on my uh, PC. So this is a thing you need to keep in mind that Unity is designed to provide your content from your PC, from your laptop to your Android smartphone or iPhone. So this is a very useful tool and I'm using it a lot these days because as I said, I'm having multiple um, tablets and uh, uh, laptops and PC and uh, I can get access of all of my data, my personal data, my office data, everything on my Android smartphone and then I can use it and I can transfer it to any uh, nearby PC, laptop and then I can use it for whatever purpose I want. So. This is a very nice application, so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. Have a nice day.